Secretary of State Hillary Clinton unleashed a torrent of criticism at President Bashar Assad of Syria, saying there is indisputable evidence his regime has murdered innocent civilians. And tonight, there is also a report about Syrian chemical weapons said to be on the move inside Syria. Here's ABC's Alex Marquardt from the Syrian border. The world knows the force and brutality of Assad's army. With news of a fresh massacre, his helicopters and soldiers accused of killing 200 people in a small village. But the scariest weapons are the ones we haven't seen. Assad is believed to have one of the biggest arsenals of biological and chemical weapons in the world. It includes highly toxic cyanide, which causes immediate seizures and cardiac arrest. Mustard gas, which blisters the skin with chemical burns. VX gas, the deadliest nerve agent ever created. And sarin, just a drop of VX or sarin can kill you in minutes. It's unclear why the Assad regime would be moving its chemical weapons now. It's unlikely Assad is ready to use the weapons against his own people to crush the rebellion. What America fears is a nightmare scenario. Assad loses power and the chemical weapons fall into the hands of terror groups. We have made plans to try to deal with any contingency involving those areas because that uh, we think that does represent uh, uh, the most serious concern uh, with regards to our security. Tonight, Pentagon officials say they believe Syria is, quote, in control of those stockpiles. If that were to change, the first worry would be al-Qaeda elements already inside Syria that could get their hands on the weapons. But if the regime falls, the weapons could also end up in the hands of Assad allies Iran and Hezbollah. Either case, extremely worrying for the United States.